uh, we've been talking about Callan all morning. He's here with his uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Did I call you a girlfriend or partner? <laughs> Sparkles. Collabor- collaborator. Collaborator. <laughs> ah, okay. So, uh, so uh, okay. So, Callan and Sparkles flew in from Canada around <laughs> Halloween time, and they said, "Let's go party." I went, "Okay." Because I, I have a few of Callan's pieces, and I said, oh, I've never met Sparkles. So we spent Halloween night partying all across New York City with a guy named Callan and a woman named Sparkles. Oh, so fun. <laughs> we had so much fun. From, my, from what I recall, I don't remember much of it. <laughs> but anyway, so welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elvis. <laughs> so the weird thing about doing audio show like we do is yes. if you want to introduce artwork, the visual artwork, to your listeners... It's sort of a challenge, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I think it's worth it in this case. We've done it with my friend King Saladin. He was in several weeks ago, and our other friend Felix Semper was in, the guy who does the the, the paper. Yeah, so uh, like accordion. Yeah. Accordion the sculpture. sculpture, yes. So when I was online, I'll tell you the story. I was on Instagram, and you know when you sign on to Instagram, it gives that first page. It's the yeah, Discover page. Explore page. Yeah. Yes. And so I saw Callan's work. It's this most colorful, wonderful, sp- just explosion of, of st- it's hard to explain. So I reached out to you on Instagram saying, dude, how do I buy one of these pieces? And you got back to me. Got back to you immediately. And, and uh, I was, you know, honored that, you know, you, you inquired. And I, I like to respond to everyone personally with, you know, DMs. And, and um, I actually just sent you a piece right off the bat. He did. Just sent me one. Oh, that was wow. nice. By the way, just because you DM him today doesn't mean you're getting a free piece. <laughs> I was pulling up my Instagram right now like, oh. <laughs> Send me a free piece. Yeah. Anyway, so you sent me the piece, and it all started there. And so I then found other work you had done and ordered some more. And my friend Dana ordered some. Yes. And then Callan did this piece. It was a heart-shaped piece that I wanted. And the next thing I know, Miley friggin' Cyrus bought it. <laughs> that rude woman. Wow, now, we are getting big. Sparkles, how did Callan, what did Callan do? How would, How did he respond when he saw that Miley Cyrus wanted to buy one of his pieces? He was absolutely floored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was actually Sparkles that let me know that Miley, like, followed me. And and I had no idea. So she 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 was way more in tune with the you know that. So uh, thank you for, for notifying me. But yeah, no, that was that was a really kind of special moment uh, that that Miley got that piece um, because like you know her house burnt down and then it's the first piece that's going into her new art collection. Wow. Um, and as they rebuild like the you know the Malibu Magic. Mm. All right, so let me let's let's go back. So, Callan, you grew up. Uh, where do you grow up in in Canada? Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah. And so as a kid, you were. I, I see pictures of you, of you as a kid. You were like a messy little kid that liked to like create art, and you more a paint got on you and your face and your clothing than on the actual canvas at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I had a, I had a very you know I, I think a blessed like upbringing. My mom, you know, shout out to my mom. <laughs> um, you know, she, she she always encouraged me in my art, and I think that everyone is artist as as a child, and at some point, um, usually the person quite close to you, like your mom or your dad, tells you to get a real job. Um, yep. <laughs> and I never had that. So, so your parents never said get a real job. No, no. So here I am, still keeping that uh, childlike wonder, you know, alive, and and trying to bring that, you know, that to other people and, and inspire people. Isn't that funny? How you know, there's a book out now. I forgot the name of the book, but it's not about how you learn things to get on in life. It's how you unlearn things. Meaning, the older you get, you you learn things that bring you down, that stop you from being creative. The older you get, people tell you, you can't do that. You've got to do this. So what Callan did is called unlearn. There it is. <laughs> uh, what Callan did is he just refused to learn that he can't be a fun artist and just continue doing it. So you're still a kid, basically. In some ways, in, in in some ways, in some ways, and 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 now you know, c- combating sort of uh, social media. I didn't have television as a kid, so now you know we all have televisions in our pocket, and I've found great success with you know viral videos. And I mean that's how you found me, right? Yes, yes. So, um, but it's a double-edged sword. Um, it also comes with a lot of negativity, and so that's sort of uh, what I'm sort of trying to make my art about now is to, to like sort of educate people that might um be putting you down like the quote-unquote haters and that's a name calling to begin with so i don't want to uh call people names no they're haters oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I know. They I'll, are haters. we'll call them that for you <laughs> yeah well so we'll tell them why people call your art they call it fake, fake art. art okay so it, it, if you go to my instagram right now at elvis duran You'll see several examples of Colin, uh, Colin uh, Callan doing his work, 
And uh, you'll see even the name of your show in New York is called... Fake art. Fake art. I'm good. You embrace that. Yeah. <laughs> so so what, you. tell everyone how you do that. And when they see the video, tell them before they see it, if they can't see it yet. Yes. Tell them what it is you do. Okay, to so, create a piece. Yeah, so what I, what I do uh, is I, I took a bicycle. Uh, I, I sort of cannibalized the parts to uh, to spin canvases, um, and then I added to that. I have like sort of a tra- trapeze pendulum apparatus that is literally uh, this paint uh, flying through the air uh, and creating sort of natural phenomenon of color and motion on uh on a canvas and it takes about 74 hours to dry uh there's i get covered in paint the audience almost sometimes gets covered in paint right uh, <laughs> and uh it's it's sort of uh a moment it's all happening and i think uh one of the criticisms with that is that it looks too easy um and it, it's it's a it's a performance and and um you know and i think people get a little bit caught up on on uh on, on the on the fact that it like I mean, if you look at like a figure skater or a pro sport player, I think you know that it all they all make it look easy, right? Right, like it's, right. You know, so, um, so now what I've started to do is I've taken some of the comments, uh, like the negative feedback. Like I got this this DM. I, I probably can't say it on the radio, but you know, uh, your your art looks like dog crap right yeah right oh that's and, nice that's and nice. so you know i took that and i uh, so you actually made a piece out of dog crap yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, i'm kidding go ahead sorry and printed it out and and did one of my classic swoops on it and and uh it's not like a res- wait hold on you actually use dog crap on a piece <laughs> no i use, oh. I use uh, you know a colorful rainbow okay okay good. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes but- dogs crap rainbows <laughs> but so your art is now not only the original art that you create using motion and, and this and that but it's also uh, a conversation about what is real art and what isn't real art, which yes. I think it's taking it to a whole new level. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's, I think at any point in time, it's really important to have a conversation about what is art. And I, I think that is to call that into question and to have that conversation here on the radio today, tomorrow, 100 years from now, 100 years ago, what is art? And that, that's a really important thing to talk about. And, and it, you know, I hopefully inspire people to, 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 you know, chase their own passions or whatever it might be. What I love about Callan's art, and you'll see it if you go watch the videos or if you come see his performances here in New York uh, tonight, tomorrow night, and then Saturday and Sunday, right? And I'll give you that information in a second. It's fun. It's <laughs> colorful fun. To me, that's the essence of what it is. Yeah. Uh, and, and to me, in this world we live in, if you can find any way to have fun, be inspired by someone else having fun and getting dirty. And and if you go to his show, it's like going to SeaWorld, you know, when Shamu splashes the front aisle. Yes. Well, imagine, the best imagine Shamu swimming in paint. Why, would, why wouldn't you want to sit there? You exactly. always want, like when you go see Blue Man Group, I want to sit in the front because I want to get splattered on. It's true. <laughs> All the time. I mean, look, show him your hands, Callan. Look, well, like they got paint all I over. I clean them, but yeah. These still have paint. The these yeah. are clean. I knew, I knew it was paint. But yeah. I mean, I, wore, I wore these last night. These are so. What's yeah, he, he's wearing a suit made out of paint. <laughs> so really, those are that's from your art. Those. This is last night. Yeah. This, so they were these. Art. These were white pants when that's you started. That's so cool. Yeah, these were white last night, and then and then this is what happens to dude. It. You should you should get into the clothing business. Seriously, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> so so sparkles. How long yeah. have you known Callan? It's been a year and a half now. Right. Yeah, and he moved yeah. in right away. Oh, <laughs> oh well. well I, I will tell you. Can we, can we talk about the installation you guys did together? Yeah. Please. Okay. Describe yeah. what. Okay, sparkles. Describe what you and Callan did for this 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 exhibit. You. For you, the, our moon magic. Yeah, the moon magic. Listen to this. Now, if you want to have a romantic night oh. with your, with your oh, lover, oh boy. Okay, tell him what you did. This is great. But you did it in front of a crowd of people. Oh, right. this! Oh, did we do it in front of a crowd of people? Have we done it? Or we just, haven't done Moon Magic in front of a crowd of people. We, we we haven't yet live, but we videoed it, and it's all out online. So okay, we'll describe. Okay, then describe, describe, describe it. Because now it's got a crowd because we're we all do. we're all watching it. Yes. Describe what you do. Listen. Okay, to this. so basically, Callan pours paint all over me, and you're totally nude. Yes, completely right. nude. And then we have like an eight foot by eight foot canvas, and then I will basically swim and dance along the canvas to music. Yes, to music, and I'll create like a paintbrush and like body movements. Sometimes it looks like waves or fire. <laughs> and then yeah, and that's that's a collaboration. It's called Moon Magic. I love it. If so if you if you check them out online, you'll see you'll see that plus all the other performances you've done. And you've you've you uh, you've done performances in Los Angeles, of course a lot of them up in Canada. Yes. And it's just 
it, look, if anyone listening is like, oh, art, I don't know. You know, art, I, I can't wrap my head around it. We found some art for you to wrap your head around. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. Thank I you. love it so much. So what about an art? Because I know that you studied art, Callie. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you're a classically trained artist. I'm classically trained. I can, believe it or not, I can actually paint, <laughs> you know, or draw. <laughs> um, you know, I went to OCAD University. I went to arts high school, uh, Etoko School of the Arts, great school as well. Uh, so, you know, I've, I'm, I'm trained in, in the arts, but I, I, you know, a lot of a lot of that training is about controlling, you know, controlling the brush and, and, and rendering it something. I've got no real interest in, in rendering something. And, and, and you have no represent. interest in control. And, no, no interest <laughs> in control. You want it out of control. Out of control. And, and it, you know, I sort of set things in motion and then, and then chaos unfolds. And it's like, you know, nature is beauty itself. And I'm sort of just capturing these like natural phenomenons, like a, like a pendulum or a harmonograph or, you know, the way maybe a sunset looks or something like that. And that's I'm, I'm trying to sort of hint towards, you know, the, the greater beauty that is like beyond like, out in the, you know, we just found a you know, picture of the black hole, like, you know, like stuff like out there, like cosmic beauty, you know, and it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around. But I think that that's sort of undeniably beautiful, that nature is beautiful. And I'm sort of like I don't sign my work. I'm sort of step away from it. It's like it's I'm trying to create something just just natural. And when you see these videos, uh, start you can actually get Callan's uh, screen name and everything uh, at Elvis Duran on Instagram. Okay, now as a young artist, what is your advice for someone out there who knows they have it but they just don't know how to keep it moving forward? I would I would say. Uh, you know be prolific keep on keep keep at it like like produce a lot of work document everything you do surround yourself with with positive people um you know with the online community there's there's a lot of negativity out there even if you you know you're posting a, a single picture somebody's going to have something something negative to say so in the, in real life IRL you know, have some some real followers, some real people. You know, good people. I, I'm fortunate. I've got you know Elvis to my left, and I've got Sparkles to my. Oh my god! Right. It's an Elvis Sparkle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some really good people, you know, supporting me, and you know, so uh, surround yourself with 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 uh, yeah. But Callan, but internally, mm. like who do you who do you stop listening to in order to still be true to what your art needs to be? I mean, what do you, what is your internal conversation? You don't have to be, it doesn't have to be a long, long paragraph, yeah. but like, what do you say to yourself when you sit down to do a piece of art? Um, well, well, I mean, I think there's an inner silence that you have to sort of employ to, to, to be present. And it's not, and, and, and sometimes the voices in your head, not like I'm crazy or anything, but everyone's got voices in their head, right? So it's like, maybe those voices aren't your voices and they're sort of other people's things that you may be projecting, uh, you know, that they've projected on you and then you uh, project on, on yourself. And so when you create, that, that might limit you. So so if you can like silence those 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 critics, that, that might be your own voice in your own head and and just let the, let the you know, if, if you're painting or if you're dancing or if you're doing music and let the, let the notes and let the colors speak to you and Instead. So I tell you, this is the second time this week on our show we've talked about the voices in our heads. Mm. Okay. Seriously, okay. It, and this this applies to anything sure. and everything. Anyone and everyone listening to our show right now, no matter what you're out to do today, to to read a book or to write a book, to ride a horse or to give birth to a horse. Good luck with that. <laughs> You've got to silence these voices that other people have branded and tattooed on your brain and on your heart. Let them go and trust yourself. And that's what Callan has done. And Sparkles, of course, right there alongside him. <laughs> now, if you're in New York uh, today, from noon to 6, and then tonight, 6 to 9, and at 7 o'clock tonight, there's a live performance. Tomorrow night, there's a live performance, and uh, we'll give you the address in a second. But it says 21 and over. How come i got to be over 21 to come to your show? Are you? Is there nudity? Is there sex? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just tonight, j just because it's... Um... Cocktails? Cocktails. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, live performances at 3 o'clock, uh, both of those days. But from noon to 6, the show is open. It's happening on my street, on 393 Broadway, at 393 Broadway. You can get the address and all the information if you go to Elvis Duran at Instagram, you can link over to Callan and everything he does. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank You're you. the best. We love art. And we love Callan and Sparkle. <laughs> the Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge.